we have gone through these weeks and we've been told that if you go out from your house arrest, you're horrible. And then overnight, thousands of people are shoulder to shoulder in protests and suddenly it's not such a big deal anymore. And when you see the connections and what the common denominators of all this are, you see why this, on the face of it, ridiculous contradiction actually makes sense. The common denominator of everything that happens in the world is does it serve the agenda or does it not serve the agenda? If it serves the agenda, it is supported, it is not banned, it is not suppressed, it is promoted in the media, and it is allowed to happen, indeed encouraged to happen. If it does not promote or support the agenda, indeed challenges it, then it's not supported, it's suppressed, it's silenced. So, the agenda is served by people acquiescing to house arrest, it is not served by people protesting against that. And so that is suppressed, etc. But the foundation of the few controlling the many, at any time in human history, it's a fundamental foundation of everything. You must divide and rule the many. So it serves the agenda of divide and rule to have people under house arrest that everyone kept apart. It serves them with social distancing where everyone is kept apart, divide, divide. It serves them to have people wearing masks, which means that the human discourse and interaction is destroyed. Social distancing, masks, house arrest must happen. But hold on a second. It also serves the agenda of divide and rule to have massive racial division. What, is, what has happened, well, almost out of nowhere, since these protests and riots began? It has driven people apart. It is a dividing society. Now that serves the agenda. And so social distancing, masks, house arrest is followed by no social distancing in the riots and the protests, but because both serve the agenda of divide, you have this apparent contradiction of social distancing imposed and then social distancing completely ignored. It's not a problem. But there's a common denominator between the two. They both serve the agenda of dividing and ruling the population. And this was captured so perfectly in one of the most ludicrous documents I've ever seen. And it was in the last week when about a thousand doctors and uh, medical people and others signed a letter when the protests and the, the riots began. And they said, these protests, brackets, including riots, should not be stopped because of the danger of the infectious nature of COVID-19. Because it's more important that these press take place and be allowed to take place than what they claim is an infectious disease. And in this same letter they said, but this does not mean there should be a permissive attitude and acceptance of other protests, particularly, it said, press against stay at home orders. If you protest against this, I'll leave you alone. But if you protest against that, I'm coming for you.